let's get no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Share my life with others, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Share my life with others, yes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Until next time! Bye! Hi, and welcome to Online Children's Ministry. Today we're going to dive into some scripture passages from the Bible. And to do that, I'm going to use some of the projects that have been made in our Cadets and Gems program. Cadets and Gems is a program for 2nd through 8th grade boys and girls. And it meets here at church on the 1st, 3rd, and 5th Wednesdays of the month from 6.30 to 8 p.m. We do many different types of crafts. Only a few of them are pictured here. Uh, others include glass etching, string art, other types of painting, uh, tie-dye, and outdoor activities such as volleyball and kickball. But one of the recent projects we just did was pot painting. This is a lovely one done by our very own Jade. And this one was created by Joel. And when I look at these pots, I think about the next step, which is to put some dirt in here and plant something and watch it grow. That also makes me think about the parable of the mustard seed, which talks about God's kingdom and how it's like a mustard seed. And the mustard seed gets planted uh, and then it grows into this giant tree that birds and other animals can live in. And what that parable is talking about is how something so small, these small beginnings can grow into something so big. And so what that can mean for our lives is the smallest acts, such as waving hi to someone, or holding the door open for someone, or even taking the first step in a project that we're working on, uh, can lead to some of the biggest moments. Those small things can mean something big to someone, it can lead to something big. Another project we worked on around Christmas time was shadow boxes. If I went and turned the lights off right now, uh, and if we had a bright enough light in here, you can kind of see there's a little one in there. Um, these images of the tree, the angel, the star, and the snowman would cast shadows onto the walls. That's why it's called the shadow box. When I think of the shadow box, I think about the light that shines through it. And I think about Matthew 5, which says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. God calls us to be a light to the world, to show his love to others around us, even if it's difficult, because those kind actions, through those kind actions, we can show God to others. Finally, every year we create derby cars that we get to race. Some of these we didn't get to finish last year, so they don't have wheels yet, but you can see the des different designs that people have created in the past. And you might be wondering, Rachel, how does racing, competitiveness, being excited about your car, how does that connect to the Bible? Well, what I think about most when I think about the derby car race is I think about joy. And in the Bible, we read about joy and how God calls us to be joyful always. In 1 Thessalonians 5, we read, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And so the smiles, the laughs, the excitement, the joy that radiates from one person to another when doing activities that bring you joy are showing God to those around you. I hope that you remember these projects during this week. Remember the pot and the mustard seed and how the small little beginnings or the small moments can lead to something big. Remember the shadow boxes and let your light shine this week to show God to others. And finally, remember the, car, the joy of the derby car. And my hope and prayer is that you find something to do this week that brings you joy. Until next time.